So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm gonna start with some harmony stuff. And please do just interrupt me with a hand whenever you feel like it, because that would be really nice. Um, so, harmony is extraordinary. Does anybody here like harmony? <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> okay, fine. Fair enough. Um, harmony is what happens when we put more than one note uh, next to each other, and they all happen at the same time. So this is a D, and this is an A. This is harmony. This is a C, this is a G, this is a B flat, this is an F. Harmony gets more and more exciting the more notes you add. Um, you also have increasing amount of responsibility the more notes you add because every note has to have a place to go. Um, the way that harmony sort of came about was, let me tell you, um, in about the 12th century, the whole of music uh, essentially revolved around this idea of monody, which is one line with no, no, no accompanying lines, um, and over the next 300 years or so, people began to add notes in. So there was lots of music that happened in two parts. And it was all about the interaction between these two different parts. Um, and then, around the time of a composer called Monteverdi, um, the, the, the third note was added. And, and what we came up with was the, this idea of a, a triad. Um, does anyone know what a triad is? Great. A triad is, is, is three notes. Um, this is the C major triad. Um, can I hear you sing that triad? Very nice. And now let's hear you sing C minor. Okay, so, so that's, that's the foundation of a lot of music. It's based around those chords. And, and just with triads, you can achieve so much harmonic motion. Let me show you. So, um, so okay, so, so a, triad is, a, a triad is three notes. Um, and the root is on the bottom, and the fifth is on the top, and the third is in the middle. Very nice. And uh, even without rearranging these notes, there's, there's a lot of description you can do just using triads. Right? It's lovely. <laughs> 